Hi, my name is Laura and I'm from Watch Laura So. And today I'm going to talk to you about the five reasons that I think that everyone who does quilting should learn how to free motion quilt. And it doesn't mean that you have to be like the most amazing free motion quilter in the world. It just means that you need to be able to actually do it. And these are why I think it's so important, five reasons that it's important to for everybody to learn. One reason is that you can free motion quilt on almost every sewing machine. Even machines that don't drop their feed dogs. I can't tell you how many times I forget to drop my feed dogs and it's still I can still free motion quilt. Now it's a little bit tougher and it's a little more jerky on the movements but you can do it. The second one is that you can create unique designs that simply have not been created yet. And for an artist especially, that can come from your heart. That can come from your own ideas of what you would like to add to your own quilt. I think that's amazing because we're all unique. We're all going to have different ideas. We can make exactly the same quilt and maybe maybe someday I'll have a, a, a quilting challenge where we all make the, exactly the same quilt and then we can free motion quilt it any way we want. Because I'll tell you what, we will all come up with different designs. And that, I think, is really super nice. I can't tell you how many times I see a quilt that is similar to a quilt that I've made. And I look at the quilting and it's completely different. The, the free motion quilting or the quilting on the quilt is totally different. And it gives me so much joy to see other people's work. It's just wonderful. To be able to create unique designs is fantastic. I mean, it's a great opportunity to express yourself. Number three, it can be as complicated or as simple as you want. One of my quilts, I took a meander and all I did was go back and forth just like this all the way down the quilt and I came back and I did another meander and it didn't match the other meander. They were all different meanders. They just went back and forth and back and forth and that's all I did. It's a great quilt. The free motion quilting was not difficult. It was something that is one of the first things that I show in my free motion videos is meandering. It is one of the basic things that you can start with. And I think that is something that everybody can do and do well. So that was something that was so simple, but looks so amazing at the end. And then you can get as complicated as you want. If you want to put feathers in one area, you can do that. And that is the beauty of free motion quilting is to add that additional design to the beautiful quilt that you've already made. I love that and I love to see different people's creations. Number four, it's on your time frame. You can go, if you feel like free motion quilting all day long to finish a quilt, you can get it done. I mean, you can do it. It's kind of up to you how complicated you want your design, how large your quilt is, how much you want to get it done. You can actually finish a quilt. I finished a quilt in one day. That's it. <laughs> I make table runners on a regular basis and I can tell you how many table runners I can quilt in one day and I keep it moving. You can do that. You can take months to quilt a free motion quilted quilt quilted quilt yeah you can do that and it 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 is up to your schedule that's the thing and that leads us to the next thing okay th so this is my last point a lot of people use people who are called long arm quilters and they are fantastic and I totally recommend that but there may be times that your long arm quilter is not available or that you just simply want to do it yourself. It, it could be that you just want to express yourself and I think that's fantastic. But the other thing is sometimes your quilter may not be available on your time. And by being able to free motion quilt, you can control that. 
you can say, okay, they're not available. I would have liked that, but I can move on. I know if, pretty much what I want to do, so I can come up with a free motion quilting design. So that is a level of comfort that you're not, as much as we want to support our long arm quilters, but if they're not available, then that's fine. The other thing is sometimes we simply can't afford it. I have been in that situation where I simply could not afford to have my quilts quilted with a long arm quilter. And in fact, now I do almost everything myself, uh, free motion quilting, simply because I enjoy it. And I like doing my own designs. But there was a time where I did get free my quilts long arm quilted. And I can tell you that very quickly I realized I couldn't afford it, um, not on what the money that I had to spend. By being able to free motion quilt, you can do it yourself. It's really empowering. And uh, that's not to cut out the long arm quilter. They are amazing and they can make our life so much easier. But there's simply times in our lives where it may not work out with a long arm quilter and to have the ability and the confidence to be able to do it ourselves that's fantastic i think this is so important i hope i hope i hope that this is encouraging to you and gives you a lot of confidence that you can get out there and you can try doing it and don't be don't be too critical on yourself because when I first started, I can tell you my stitches were all different. In fact, sometimes my stitches are different, but in general, most of my stitches are pretty good. Not every one of them. I'm sure you guys can pick them out on my videos. And in general, you know, I do an okay shape. And, but the thing is, I get my quilts done. I finish them. And they are available to my family, my friends, and people that, you know, I, I can give things away to. So, so many of us have unfinished projects sitting around that usually are like quilt tops. And that we can get done and we can do a fantastic job. We can have the confidence to be able to do our own quilting. And I think that is fantastic. So I will see you next time at the sewing machine. Bye-bye.